idea. So look, folks, we're going to straighten it out. You know, I'll tell you, it's very honored because this last week, the Border Patrol, these are amazing people. They want to do their job. They're not allowed to do their job. They're told to stand back. Don't do your job over the last couple of years. And they have really suffered. And a friend of mine, he's really become a great friend of mine, and Jamil Shaw, who is, uh, I just, I mean, what do we get that? We, we get that. And here it is, up here, that's Japan. Below the border, below his feet, that's where we are, okay? That's called a trade imbalance. And by the way, they don't even want our product because their people don't want our product. And I think it's great. I don't hold China. I, not, I love China. I think China's good. I'm the largest <laughs> bank in the world with my time. I sell condos all over the place. I make tens of millions of dollars in each time. I'm not I own the Bank of America building in San Francisco. Wrong with a, a great company. I own 1290 every day. Oh, all that through. Boom. I own China. I'm going to read two sentences. I mean, it's horrible. We're going to make you so depressed, but don't be depressed because we're going to fix it fast. <laughs> Orange County, we love Orange County. We do. I love it. <laughs> Remember, this is out of a book. This is out of a manual. No state in America has suffered worse from open borders than the state of California. <laughs> Its impact on jobs, wages, security, schools, hospitals has been devastated. We know that, okay? We, are, we know. And remember this. There's a lot of really, really smart people. I have the most loyal people. I have the most loyal people. I have the smart people. I'm the most loyal people. And by the way, folks, I hate to tell you, but we're going to make the country great for everybody. For Hispanics, for African Americans, for everybody. We have a lot of them with us tonight. We're making, this is not for like a group where they think it's a certain group. This isn't a certain group. This is everybody. We're going to make our country great for everybody. But look at these numbers. Remember this. 18 years ago, we have people that 18 years ago, they've worked harder now than they did 18 years ago, but 18 years ago, they were making more money in real terms than they make today. And today, in many cases, they're doing double jobs and they're dying with it. And it's supposed to be the opposite way, including me. What the hell am I doing this for, right? It's supposed to be. But it's supposed to, I love you too. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be the opposite. So think of it. We have hard workers, middle income, even above middle income, and even below middle income, where they work harder today than they worked 18 years ago. 18 years. By the way, this isn't me. This is a statistic that you will. They're working harder today than 18 years ago, and they're making. Another strong guy like this. He's shoving this stuff. My son comes up to me, goes, "Daddy, that's disgusting. Who is that, Daddy? Barrett? Who is that?" Anyway, so look, look. We have a chance to do something great. And I told him, I said, "If you tell me that I get the nomination, you don't win." Or if you tell me I don't get the nomination, frankly, if I wasn't going to win, I'd rather not get the nomination because the whole thing is about winning. And we can't do that. And we have to take care of our country. We can't make the changes if I don't win. He said, it doesn't matter. Said, I will tell you this. If I don't win, as good as you say I have done, if I don't win, I will consider it a total and complete waste of time, energy, and money. I really mean it. Because we are on the verge of doing something that's really unprecedented. You know, they used to call it the silent majority, now we'll call it the noisy majority because we're not going to do it. So, so, here's the story. And we have to have great compassion. We have to have great compassion. Remember this, borders. If we don't have borders, we don't have a country. So we're going to have borders. Now, in California, and I heard this for the first time today, a poll came out today, and not that I'm proud of this particular statistic. Uh, I hate to tell you, should I tell you? Yeah. They said that I'm even restless in poll. I'm even with her. I don't like being even. But I haven't started on her. You know these guys like Casey. 
I've had 55,000 negative ads. I have negative ads. I just left Indiana. Every single ad is a Trump ad. And believe me, most of them are really wrong. Some, some, eh, not so. <laughs> but most of them, millions of dollars being spent. In Florida, when I went to Florida, I went a whole week. I was down in Florida at Trump National Director. But I'm down. And I'm watching, and every year it was like a Trump hit. And I told my people, there's no way we can win Florida. And they said, what? Because I said, every time I turn on the television, all I see are these horrible lies, these horrible ads, and then I won in a landslide. So you never know. I mean, you never know. I think people are going to lose. But, but just, just remember, just remember, we're going to do something. You know, we have a movement going on here. It's a movement. This is in like a normal situation. Bill O'Reilly last week, good guy, tough, tough. I mean, he'll come at you if he thinks you're wrong, believe me, but tough. He said, in his lifetime, what's happened with Trump is the single biggest political event ever. You know, when they uh, talk to my attacks on the right of the debate, and I've been at the center of every single debate, number one, number one. Whatever debate, According to all the polls, Drudge is fantastic. Drudge and Ty Packers and all the speakers. I've won every single debate. I've been center stage. And the only thing that would bother me is when we had an even number. I'd always say, I don't want an even number because then we'd have two people at the center. But I was always number one. So usually we had enough. But I was always center, right? And they asked Cruz about Waterbury. What do you think of Waterbury? Well, and he didn't like it because it's really not like a good answer for him because he's actually a very weak person, so he didn't like it. So he's sort of like, well, uh, 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 uh. so like, after like two minutes, he didn't like it. <laughs> and she's been shouting all night long, reading off teleprompters. Does she ever make a speech with us not? I mean, she won the other night. I'm sort of glad she won. You know, I really want to beat her more than she <laughs> I have five million, I have so many votes more than like Cruz and Casey. And yet, you know, they go in and they sort of semi-bribe all these people and the delegates and all of a sudden. And it, it's just like, it's a terrible system. I mean, it's a terrible system. But Hillary said, I don't like the tone. Now here we are in a world that's going to hell. We have people's heads are being cut off. You know, not since medieval times. I used to love history. I think it's like my favorite, I love this. And you read about medieval times, right? Medieval times, chop off heads. Now we're chopping off heads. I mean, I didn't see anything about this. Even the Wild West, they shoot you, but they don't chop off the heads. <laughs> chop off the heads, drown people in these big cages, 50 at a time, drop. And she said, I don't like his time. <laughs> By somebody at NBC. And he said bad things. He said, he is not a conservative. <laughs> he is not a conservative. I am actually a conservative, but I'm like smart dude. But we have all this stuff. I was going to be nice to him. Because I like a lot of the people that have disappeared one after another. It's a beautiful sight. Boom, 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 boom. And I was nice to Jeff Bush, you know, after he got defeated. I was nice. But, but here's what happened. So I hear he's interviewed today. I said, do me a favor, it's amazing what they can do. They have this thing about it. two seconds later, they get me a copy of this interview. I said, let me know. I figured they're gonna give it to me in writing. Let me know, one of my guys, there. I just, I've got it, sir. Let, what, 11 seconds later. He's got a machine, he's giving me the whole interview. What would you like? He presses Trump and it goes right to that section. He starts hitting me, you know, like, he said, uh, and he did say, He's a gifted, gifted politician. He said that a while ago. And my wife said, why would he say that? I should tell you this. Maybe he's not so smart. Why would he say that, right? But he hits me today, so I feel fine. He's a low-energy person. We don't need low-energy people. Just to know that.